I'm here at Buku with Dolores Holmes. This is her second time running for the Alderman of the Fifth Ward. And it's been a long campaign. Tell us how it's been for you. Well, it's been long. It's been real different for Evanston. It's been a very different campaign. But I had wonderful support. I have a fantastic crew that has uh, led me through this campaign. Janet Alexander Davis, Val Summers, Luedna Halliburton, David Dixon has been our main team. And then we have all these wonderful volunteers that we could not have done it without them. And so since it's been different for you, are you expecting to do something different yourself when you win the second time? Well, my plan is, is that we will continue to do what we've been doing, making changes on the west side, which have not had any changes for the last 50 years. We intend to continue to beautify the community. We intend to continue to work for uh, affordable housing, to bring jobs, to bring economic development to the community. So, uh, and make sure that it's a nice, safe place uh, for the West Side. It's a wonderful community, and we want to share it with everyone. And so what kind of support? You have a lot of people that are here tonight, but the volunteers, what kinds of things have they been doing for you? Well, they have been doing everything from passing out flyers, making phone calls, being poll watchers today, just being support, staying with me in prayer, letting me know that, you know, the job I've been doing is a good one and they wanted to see me continue, so they've been fantastic. And I'm curious to know, how are they going to continue to support you when you're back in office? Well, we have started a ward organization called WEST, and it's the WEST Evanston uh, Strategic Team. And they, the residents, will be running this ward because the alderman should be accountable to the ward, not the ward to the alderman. So we have that all in place and we expect to kick that off in May. Excellent. So what would you like to say to everybody that's been supporting you? We'd just like to thank them. We um, certainly hope that they will continue to give us the kind of support that's needed. This is a job that you can't do by yourself. You need everyone in the community to kick in and help do it. We can only make change if people want to make change. And we've got some wonderful people that want to see some change in the community. Thank you so much. Thank you.